Hello, Lost Bazaar back again. Uh, it actually only took me about seven or eight min minutes to get to the top of those stairs instead of the half an hour I thought it would be. I let myself die once or twice too because I got a little bit of progress and let myself die to come back to where I was. So here I am, the top of the stairs. Now I have to make it to that door. I don't know if I saved this or not, but save it here. So now I'm just gonna jump over and push myself against the wall. It reminds me of that end of level six, I think it was. So close, so close. I've already wasted too many lives in this level, I'm not wasting any more. See, see, now that was too far. It's like, yes, let's make this game as hard as physically possible. Awesome. Damn right, I'm awesome for sticking through that painful level. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and do level 11 on this, on this video. Now, might as well, at least get as far as I can. Oh. I'm on the boss already. I thought there was 10 levels, I thought there was only, I thought there was 11 levels, not 10. But I've only done 10 levels. I'm, either I miscounted or I I told someone wrong. Someone asked in the comments, how many levels are there? And I said, oh, 11 plus the boss. I don't know where, where I was thinking of that. Oh well. I guess this is the beginning of my epically painful boss fight. So here we go. See me try, how many tries it get, takes me. Hopefully, I can do it within these couple minutes. So yes, we're on the moon and we have to fight this epic moon, moon foot. It's just like all the other feet in the game. Meaning that if you stop hitting it for a second, it will just regain its health. And of course, if you get hit and bounce up like that, well, that's, you stop, that means you stop hitting it because you got, you're got up in the air. I'm only gonna I'm only load, gonna load my safe state if I get a final game over. That is no continues left. I don't even know how many times you have to hit it. I'm just gonna Yeah, there was gonna be a sequel to this game when they were first making it. They're like, yeah, we'll end up on the moon and we'll make a sequel called Snakes on the Moon. So Apparently this yeah, so apparently this mountain goes all the way to the moon. We climbed a mountain and we made it to the moon. Or maybe this is the top of the mountain and this in space. Maybe this sequel is going to be called Snakes in Space. That makes more sense. Yeah, Snakes in Space. Anyway, I think they ported this to the Sega, and in that game there was an extra level after that one that was uh, that was actually in space. Do you know if he has full health now because I stopped for that split second? Or am I still good? I don't know. Man, I, I need a turbo controller for this. I don't have one, I just have a Logitech one. I'm playing on my emulator. I don't know if I have a turbo setting on this at all. Game over again. Let's try again. So I guess I could have used less save face before and used some more of my three lives. But then I have to use save face here because. This guy's kicking my ass so much. Why does he have a flag? In the instruction manual for this book, it says, oh, the snakes are having a race to the top of the mountain. Maybe the race was to get this flag, and whoever gets the flag is, oh, I am the king of the mountain because I have the flag, and you don't. Ah, ah, ah. And someone planted a foot here to foil our evil plans of having a race. Here we go. Okay, I just gotta keep this up, right? I just keep, keep this up. I don't know for how long. See, now he's probably full health again. Or maybe, I don't know how much he regenerates each time. You know, sometimes when I'm hitting him, he turns completely blue. Maybe I have to get into that stage and then hit him a bunch. Oh, that sucked. I'm not even sure. Maybe I should, I should do some more research looking up type stuff in this boss before I uh, 
10 bits more. I'm just gonna go to the full 10 minutes. If I can't do it by then, I'll do some research and get back to you. I'm still about it. Five minutes? Yeah, something like that. There we go. Let's see. Look how blue he's going. I think that's a good sign, at least. Oh. It's only even heal so fast. How many other games have a boss that heals this much or this fast? Are there any games where, like, that are like this? So you stop hitting him and he heals his health faster than you can hurt him. I don't can't think of any games. Do you? See? Game over. Yeah. On the cartridge, how frustrating would that be? You're so good at the game that you can beat all those nasty ice levels, but then you can't even beat the boss with the few lives you have left. How painful would that be? I've only, I only ever played this cartridge in a rental when I was a kid. I, I don't think I even made it to the ice levels. Probably got stuck in level 6 or 7. I didn't even make it to fish levels. Those are hard for levels for a kid. Yeah, our rental place had all the reject games, so like games like this that weren't popular with the other kids. Well, this is fun. I still highly recommend this game. I mean, all the levels up into the fish level are actually really fun. They're fun, they're really challenging, really interesting. Once you get to ice, I mean, it's just frustrating and painful, but... Other than that, it's a really cool game. Other than the boss, actually. Even the ice levels, like I, I guess you could get good enough at the ice levels that you have everything memorized, so you can you, you can do one of those levels without dying. I just figured I'd show you my raw, complete run through of the game to show you what it's like. Well, wow, see, I was doing better in the first five minutes. I'm just getting worse and worse at this guy. The trick is to not get too close, because if you get too close, you'll just run into him, you lose a hit point, and bounce way up in the air. Try this again. There we go, look how blue he's getting. Look how blue he's getting. Aww. Oh. I had to lose it. I was doing so good. Yeah. What is that, a zombie foot? It's like a frozen and after you feed foot. Where did all these feet come from? Did people try to hike up this mountain and they got bitten off by that shark? Or later on they just got frozen from frostbite and they all got lost and then they got zombified and controlled by some evil genius foot? Wow, this is so much fun. They give you points in this game, but they don't give you a high scoreboard. Like, you notice know, when I got the game over, there was no, like, oh, this is your final score, enter your initials, blah, blah, blah. They give you a score, but it doesn't mean anything. I guess you can, if you're playing two player, you can compete that way. You know what, if there was two people playing this boss at once, that might actually be a lot more doable. Twice as many hits, excuse me. Oh yeah, and then the ice block squishing. Another game over. Okay, I'm just gonna stop the video here and do a little bit of reading up on this on this boss and this game, and come back in, in the next video. So see you guys.